Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to do part 2 of the Crochet Along Peacock Tail Bag by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. For this Crochet Along I'm using Linen Soft Yarn, which is by Scheepjes, and I'm using a 3mm crochet hook. It's a smaller hook size than goes with the yarn, but make sure that you go a size smaller because of the gauge for this project. In this video I'll show you how to do the back part of the bag. In a separate video I'll show you how to do the front. So here I'll especially be paying attention to having the correct number of stitches and the correct increase to get the curvature you need for your bag. Take you step by step through the rounds making up part 2. I want to thank you for watching and I hope it's a useful video for you. You've come to the end of part 2. You've done the front and the back side of your bag. Just a good moment to check for gauge again. You want the two sides to be about the same size. A few millimeters isn't a problem, but if it's really a, a big difference between the two, you're going to have to um, adapt for that. That's one. Check that they're the same size. And two, you want to check that they are the correct width. I'll show you on the back because that's easiest. You want to make sure that on its widest point your bag at this moment is about 20 centimeters. If it's considerably more, 23, 24, you most probably won't have enough yarn in your kit so you really want to make sure that it's about 20 centimeters at its widest point. So Check your gauge and otherwise adapt your hook size or your way of crochet by for example paying attention to your golden loop. This is completes the front and the back side of your work. You're ready for part 3. Row 8 for the back side of our project. Got a new kind of yarn, got a slip knot on my hook. And we're going to start with a standing half double crochet in the second, um, if, if we, no, the first I mean. If you have this double crochet increase here, the first half double that comes after the single crochets. You see there are the singles. Here's your first increase and you want that first half double. I'm going to start in there with a standing half double crochet. And there we go. That's going to be the first of three. It's one. Two, three. Now you need to do five. Sorry, you need to do five, four, and five. So you start with five half doubles, where the first is in the first uh, increase from the previous round. See, those are the single crochets, and then your first increase. Now we're ready to start a small repeat unit. Now you do three half doubles. One, two, three. In the next stitch you do two half doubles. So one and two, and then again three half doubles. One, two, and three. So that little unit, three half doubles, then do an increase, and then again three half doubles, going to do that eight times. That'll bring you to somewhere around here, then I'll see you on that side. I've done the repeat eight times, so I've finished here with the increase and then three half doubles. At this point you still need to make six half doubles. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to cut my yarn. That finishes round eight. 
make sure that at this point that you have 75 stitches so just take a moment to actually count your stitches because if this um, stitch count is off then it's going to be off for the rest of the rounds also take a moment to count your stitches and then you're ready for the next round Row 9, new color yarn on my hook and this time we're going to not start in the first but in the second half double from the previous round we're again going to start with a half double on that second stitch and I'm going to take the thread from the previous round with me so I'm going to work that in as I go now you're going to work a half double on every stitch till so you're to the other side and on the very last stitch of this round you're going to work two half doubles just a note on this first stitch here from, row, from the previous row I've just unpicked that knot from the um, standing stitch because that just gives you a cleaner edge and I can work over my thread and that just saves me time having to work it in work a half double on every stitch and when you get to your last stitch that's going to be the stitch on this side, that very last one you need to work two half doubles in there in that last stitch so that you still have 75 half double crochets at the end of this round so go all the way around and then your last stitch work two half doubles row 10 we're again going to start in the second half double so not the first but the second exactly like the previous round to start in there with a standing half double crochet and I'm again taking the thread with me from the previous round and I've also unpicked that first knot so you can see that little knot there, that's the one that I've unpicked on the previous round. Just on one half double you need to do two in the same stitch. Like so. Now I'm going to do three half doubles, one on each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then again an increase, so do two on the next stitch. So one and two. Now is the point that we're going to start our repeat unit. It starts by making seven half doubles. So one on the, one on each of seven stitches. It's two, three. Just done seven half doubles and now again an increase so you work two half doubles on the next stitch and two. So this is your repeat unit seven half doubles and then an increase so two half doubles in one stitch. You're going to do that eight times. It will bring you almost to the other side you'll have a few stitches left so I'll just show you how to do the last bit after you've done the repeat eight times you see the last stitch here is so two half doubles in the one stitch you should have five stitches left on those five stitches I'm going to work a half double on each of those so that's five half doubles you still need to do so one two Three. I'm just going to have to hold that thread there for that last stitch because I haven't worked these in yet and five there we go so you can cut your yarn and open up and this side the end side of course you have to work away your tails but I've been working in on the start but the finish you'll have to work away 
So that completes row 10. Row 11. This row is very similar to row 9. Having your color yarn on my hook. And we're again going to start in the second stitch. The second half double there of those two. And I'm taking that thread with me again. I've again unpicked the knot. We're starting in there with the standing half double. And there we go, in that second stitch. I'm not very happy with that yet. There we go. It's one. And now you're going to work a half double on every stitch. Two. Three. You're going to work a half double on every stitch. And your final stitch, you're going to work two half doubles. So in that respect, it's very similar to row nine. Except, of course, you have more stitches now. You're going to work 84 half doubles in total. So work a half double on every stitch. And when you get here to the end, on your last stitch, that final one there, you're going to work two half doubles. And all the other ones, you just work one. Your last one you work two. Row 12 of the back side, new color yarn on my hook, and you're again going to start in the second stitch, second one, with a standing half double crochet. And I'm taking the thread with me, working it in from the previous round, and again I've un unpicked that knot. So this is number one. I'm going to do nine. number 8 and number 9. There we go. I've now done 9 half doubles. I'm just going to pull that thread a little bit. 9 half doubles. Now we're going to start our repeat unit. Start by making an increase in the next stitch. So that's 2 half doubles in the next stitch. 2 half doubles followed by 8 on the next 8 stitches. It's one on each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number 8. That's the repeat unit, the increase, those two half doubles in one stitch, followed by eight half doubles. I'm going to do this eight times. It will bring you almost to the last stitch. I'll just show you the last bit. When you've done the repeat eight times, you should have two stitches left. And on those two stitches, you're going to work a half double on each. One and oops and two. There you go. To cut my yarn, open up, and then that completes round twelve. Row thirteen, the first row where I'm using my blue yarn. This row is very similar to two rows down, going to start in the second half double, second stitch, work a half double on every stitch and in your last stitch you work two half doubles. So again a standing stitch, standing half double in that second stitch. I'm going to take yarn with me from the previous round and then work a half double on every stitch and when you get to your last stitch, your very last one, you're going to work two half doubles on that stitch. 
So a good moment to just count your stitches, make sure that your stitch count is still correct. Because at this point, well, at least when you've finished this round, you should have 91 half double crochets. So just count your stitches, that you're still okay. So, there we go. Work a half double on every stitch, starting in the second, and when you get to the last stitch here, that last one, work two half doubles in there. 